In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of extending a trial application of Dynamics 365 customer servers. Now, before we even talk about trial version of Dynamics 365 customer servers, I just want to quickly walk you through the steps of how do you provision a trial tenant for Dynamics 365 customer service. Now, I'm in my website. So in my website, I've created a shortcut. So if you go to on the tab Microsoft and navigate to Microsoft resources, there are uh, some links which I have kept like Dynamics 365 free trial, Visual Studio, Dev Tenant, Azure free trial. Now, if I click on Dynamics 365 free trial, it will take you to a page dynamics.microsoft.com ENUS Dynamics 365 free trial. Now, from this page, you can uh, provision a free Dynamics 365 uh, application. So it can be sales, customer service, field service, remote assist, and there are other Dynamics 365 products as well. Now, uh, if you want to provision Dynamics 365 customer service, what you can do is like you can click on try for free. And then what happens is, uh, a screen pops up and it will ask you to type in your work account. Now, the moment you type your work account, it automatically detects whether you already have a customer service free trial license enabled or not. If not, then it will try provisioning a Dynamics 365 customer service uh, free trial for you. Now, remember, this free trial is just for 30 days. Okay, so you can use the 30 days uh, and you can expand, you can extend all the features and you can play around within the application. Uh, but after 30 days, the tenant is going to uh, expire. Okay, the environment is going to expire. Now, uh, let me show you uh, how the Dynamics 365 customer service application looks like. Now, this is the customer service application, uh, which is customer service hub and uh, it has a lot of features. We can add cases and all those things, but uh, now this environment is getting expired. So I've already consumed 30 days, okay? So how do you know this environment is now expiring or it is getting expired? What you can do is you can navigate to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com slash environments. And when you are in environments, identify the customer service trial environment. Now for me, here it is, okay? It says trial and it is expired okay now if i just click here and i click on detailed view here it says the this environment will expire in one day okay so i still have one day remaining okay uh, not fully one day but still i have one day uh, remaining uh, till the time i can uh, do some operations on this particular uh, environment now when the environment is going to get expired so microsoft gives you seven days heads up notice so you will see this bar over here okay and what it says is this environment will expire in one day to keep it convert into production type or extend your trial now here there is a button to extend the trial okay now this will only appear from 23rd or 24th day okay of your uh, subscription and it will only appear once so that means first time you get uh, a 30-day trial uh, if you extend it, you get another 30 day trial. So literally you can use 60 days of customer service application for free. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on extend trial and see what happens. Okay. So if I click on extend trial, it says extending trial period for customer service trial. Extending will add up to 30 days to this environment trial period. You can only do this once, as I mentioned to you. After extending the trial, you must convert this environment to either production type or keep it beyond the expiration date. Further extension requests will not be granted. So that means you will only get 60 days of total usage if you extend it once. So let me extend this. Okay. Now, the moment you do that, it will give you a message. The trial environment's expiration has been successfully extended by 29 days. Okay. Now here, here you can see the uh, after some time you will see the type as trial and this expired will go away. Okay, so so this is how you basically uh, extend your Dynamics 365 customer service application, the environment. Now if you see here earlier it was showing is expired. Now I can see trial 30 days remaining. So then I can now from this date onwards I can uh, use it for another uh, 30 days. So this 
environment was created on the 30th of the first and now i can use it in march so that's it folks this is how you basically extend the dynamics 365 customer service trial application thanks for watching.